yang kedatangan dia link tu dia ada eh? Ha, kedatangan tu saya dah share dekat uh, Oh, okay, okay. Chat. Okay. So, boleh isi untuk uh, kehadiran semua okay. yang ada. Okay. Kalau Prof dah setia, bagi tahu. Oh, bolehlah saya dah. Nanti, boleh. Nanti bos, bos nom, Dr. Norma masukkan <laughs> saya pula. Bos dah masuk dah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning to all. Okay, so let us begin our talk today with sur uh, bacaan surah Al-Fatiha. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'in Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqim Sirat Al-Ladhina An-Na'amta Alayhim غير المغضوب عليهم من الضالين أمين رب صرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحد نقدة من لساني أتقوا قليل Okay, first of all, I would like to say thank you to all the participants uh, spending some of your time to join our talk today So before we proceed, I would like to give a some brief introduction on our speakers today uh, which is Prof. Tahir Ahmad from the Department of Mathematical Sciences so Prof, uh, he started uh, uh, his undergraduate study uh, on year 1981 at California State of University, Fresno, in pure mathematics. So Prof Tahir, uh, he continued to do the Master of Science on 1896 uh, at the same university, California State of University, Fresno. After that, uh, uh, he proceeded to enroll as a PhD student on 1993. Sheffield Hallam University UK in electrical and electronic modeling. So he started his career at, as a lecturer at UTM 1989. Up until now, he already served uh, UTM 30, uh, 32 years already. So uh, it's more than it's more than my age. <laughs> okay, so he already graduated graduated 33 PhD student. Uh, so, Prof. Tahe research interests on linear control system and optimal control theory with the application. His experience in teaching mostly focused on the pure mathematics subject like uh, topology, functional analysis, and number theory. So, without uh, further ado, uh, I would like to invite our speaker today, uh, Prof. Tahe Ahmad, to give his talk entitled Strategizing Online Teaching by Novels set their expectation. Okay, so yeah. okay, okay. Thank you to Dr. Ahmad uh, for introducing myself at uh, me and uh, uh, and uh, assalamualaikum and good morning to everybody. Um, <coughs> so in this talk, I will try my best to speak in English, lah. Tetapi kalau ada keluar dan bahasa Melayu, minta maaf. And so I would share, first I would share my slide, not my extract, you know, what what can you expect in my talk today. Uh, so I have, uh, you know, um, squared all the keywords inside my talk today. First of all is, uh, know this which is myself actually even though i have served utm for quite some time i'm still a novice uh, in this uh, online teaching and uh, i think dr noma and and the rest uh, i you know have a lot more experience in online teaching than than myself so i will talk about my principle and methods you know because since i'm a novice so i have to talk about the principle and method, how do I approach this uh, online teaching. And also I will discuss, because of course I did, you know, uh, do, I did do some uh, do, uh, research on this online teaching. I, I, I view all, some of the literatures on it. So I will share how, how can I summarize what is uh, uh, the researchers talk, uh, talk about the uh, online teaching. And also I will talk about the cognitive, emotive and social factors of the student and also myself. 
you know, as a, as a teacher uh, regarding this uh, online teaching. And of course, at the end, I will uh, uh, share with you an honest and uh, set of expectation. I mean, set of expectation is for the student. What can they expect uh, to have me as a, uh, as a novice uh, online teacher? Well, I mean, for the first time. So that is what I'm going to talk about in this, my presentation. So, <clears throat> All right. Um, Uh, you, you can see my PowerPoint, don't you? Uh, uh, bullet, uh, yes, yes. Okay, good. Yeah, I see. Right. Right. Um, <clears throat> so let me start first. All right. Uh, as you know, you know, there are a lot of uh, negative perception or uh, about uh, learning mathematics as a general, you know. So I I I, I, I survey some of the complaints or uh, dissatisfaction among students, among uh, you know uh, people who who are you know, engaged in mathematics. Some of them say that math both people. Uh, because it's abstract and most people have limited ability to create to tolerate abstract thinking. This is one of the you know common complaint about mathematics. And the other one is uh, in my humble opinion, so many dislike mathematics because of how it's taught in the school. So you have to imagine, you know, if they, is this is how they feel when they have face-to-face -face teaching uh, in mathematics, what happened if you they are now in a different mode, uh, which is an online teaching. So I think um, the you know the dissatisfaction is even greater. Uh, Prof, uh, uh, yes, I I do uh, do agree with what you you have uh, said that uh, uh, negative perception about the learning and negativity, right? So uh, this kind of scenario is actually happening from uh, from the primary school secondary school and also even the during the degree uh, all the seniors say that uh, mathematics is difficult additional mathematics is difficult pure yeah. math is even difficult so yeah. in, in your opinion uh, so uh, during the online studies in mathematics are there challenges and the negative uh, this kind of negative perception even greater oh yes so that is what uh, the next uh, uh, you know that uh, i want to Uh, to talk about, you know, because it is become so uh, apparent when you, when you just uh, like myself, I don't have any uh, much experience on online teaching. You know, I just, you know, came involved in math uh, competition 2020 trainer as a trainer. So I have to, you know, to, you know, learn very fast how to this online teaching and everything like that. And also for this semester, uh, beside my research students, PhD students, I have been given the teaching load in topology and that's it. And also two of my uh, PSM students to supervise. So that, that is why I say that I am very novice in this thing. And I had to do something, you know, to, to make, so to 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 approach or to deal with the online teaching. So uh, online teaching, there are challenges. And first of all, is about isolation. So when you say isolation, means that you know you are here, you are not face to face with the student. The students are always uh, somewhere uh, in Malaysia, you know, somewhere in the Nano, somewhere in the Pera, and uh, there are you know 
they are in isolation from us and from their friends too, from their colleagues too, from their peers too. And uh, the second challenge uh, is uh, lack of motivation among students. This is the second challenge. Because you know when when they are when they are in face to face in campus, so they have you know they have, they can talk to to each other and they can discuss their 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 assignments and their own homework and things like that. But when they are far apart uh, uh, during online teaching, so they cannot uh, interact with each other. So they um, they demotivate uh, to them. Another thing is different uh, technical difficulties. So, you know, technical is so uh, apparent because, you know, we have internet problems, internet connection problem. Because there is one of my students, you know, uh, who is in from Peru Intan. So every time he has uh, online teaching, uh, online study, online learning, he has to go to, uh, uh, to the town, you know, stay in the parking lot and you know, learn, uh, uh, I mean, op, uh, stay online with me. So he has to, uh, you know, to travel to from his home uh, somewhere in the total internet and to the town to get the internet uh, connection better than when uh, he's in uh, his uh, home. And the other one is time consuming resources. So there, I will talk about it. What do you mean by time consuming resources? So in here, you know, if they are face to face, they can assess their books, uh, papers, and things easily uh, in the library and things like that. So you know, but here uh, when it's online teaching, they don't have this uh, luxury, you know, to go to the library and things like that. So they are really rely on resources on online resources and the one uh, resources that we we provide them. You know? Then the 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 final one is set and forget activities, which means that you know they are easily if you 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 post for them some assignment and things like that, you know, they become for, forget, you know, because you know it it's not it's not face to face, it's online teaching. So you know they tend to forget to ignore or sometimes, you know, yeah, to ignore the the task that they, we give them, uh, I give them during the during the online teaching. So these five challenges we need to, uh, I have to uh, to to deal with. And then when we go to the literature, you know, uh, this is uh, this uh, diagram was posed by Ming and Kang, and uh, he. Uh, the researchers uh, summarize there are three elements in for online teaching that you need to be, uh, you know, you need to, keep, to take care of. The first one is the uh, connective factors. Connective factors mean that you know it comes from three major stages, which is information acquisition, information acquisition, how they you know the uh, the the uh, digest the information, information transformation, how they transform it, and to make to to make myself, to make themselves understand, and you know the concept that we're going to tell uh, to to teach them, and also con uh, knowledge construction. This leads to the how uh, leads to the depend on the their prior knowledge, achievement goals, learning activity, cognitive learning style. You know these are the things. Uh, with respect to connective factors. And, you know, you have to realize uh, regarding this achievement goal, some students, they are just performance-based, which means that I want to make sure I get A in this class. That is called performance-based. Performance-based type of student. They don't care. They just want to get A. They just you know, just want to have to end up with A in their course. And the second one is, which is hardly to find, learning based. Learning based, you know, he, he, he cares less about his performance. He wants to learn. He wants to, uh, to learn the subject, to master the skill that we're going to teach them and things like that. So if you have this kind of student, you're going to, you, you are very blessed, you know, because 
But it doesn't mean that he doesn't care about uh, uh, the grid, but he, he, his attitude, you know, he, he wants to learn. And that is a very uh, important uh, uh, for, the uh, for us and also for the student. <coughs> we have to identify this kind of student. And the other one is um, social factors. So, I mean, every learner possess a background and distinct culture that the learner will unavoidably bring to every learning endeavor. So they have, you know, they have uh, they have got background such as personal attributes. Yeah, personal attributes. They mean their interpersonal skills, their teamwork, you know, skills. They are meticulous. They are personal drive. You know initiative you have to learn you have and so and so on you have to deal with this kind of students you know uh, and it becomes harder if you are in an online teaching and then of course the emotive factors because social ambition means that uh, social and evolving interaction with self and interaction with other that's what i mean by emotive factors and then <coughs> i mean that uh, you feeling of self yourself Feeling of community. I mean, they are community. I mean, they are uh, classmate. You know, feeling of classmate. Uh, sorry, feeling of learning and atmosphere. Of course, it will you will affect their uh, learning and atmosphere because you they used to be on in campus. Now they are in at home, and feeling of learning process. And this leads to this thing because in technology based environment, learners commonly experience emotional changes during their learning journey. Because, you know, when you introduce that, them a new apps or new things like that, you know, if they you try to, you know, first of all, whether they can access it easily or not. The second is whether, they, you, you know, they can, hopefully they can operate that uh, apps, you know, in, 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 they take less time, you know, small time, you know, uh, they spend, don't, not, don't, I mean, they, they don't spend a lot of time to operate. The, the app. So we have to consider all these things. So therefore, when I started this, you know, online teaching, I have a, you know, I say I had I need a principle how to do take how to approach my work. I said here, <coughs> this is the principle that I will always uh, with me, you know, uh, until today. You know, it's this that uh, it's called hammer principle. If you have a hammer in your hand and it's there are only two, everything starts to look like a nail. So when Hazadeh introduced this, he didn't mean that only a party set or preset or things like that, you know. He was talking about in general, you know. So I myself, I, I know mathematics well, okay. Now I'm in another environment, which is online teaching. So that's how, I, if I just teach as the way I taught during uh, face to face, it won't, it won't, it won't, work. it won't work. You know, it won't work. I had to change it. I had to change the way I teach uh, face to face to the way I teach in online. I had to change. It. So of course, this is what proposed by uh, uh, Dr. Isabel. And the other one is the method. How are I going to? Because there are too many methods in the in the in the literature how the online teaching. So therefore, I had to find a, a simple method so that I can, uh, you know, uh, use it in my online teaching, which is the, again, I always take uh, this, uh, principle, uh, this principle under this philosophy, which is the further backward you can look, the further forward you can see. That's what was given by Miss Winston Churchill, Winston Churchill, the Prime Minister of England. So what I, what I mean is that, you know, I'm in the what now in era of online teaching. Then I had to, you know, I never, I never experienced this again before. So I had to, you know, look back. I have worked, and uh, I, you know, as I don't, I am not introduced me since nineteen what eight, uh, eighty one. You know. Uh, I had to review how my instructor, you know, my professor in, in U.S. taught me, you know, you know, during that time, there was no, there was no, uh, there was no uh, online teaching. It was just face to face. And uh, there's only whiteboard, uh, sorry, blackboard and chalk. And that's it, you know. 
and it was proposed by by Winston Churchill. Uh, yes, Prof. Uh, 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 so uh, uh, we all knew, Prof. <laughs> Not only you, but we also knew in teaching uh, 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 using uh, online. Okay. Uh, so uh, what did you do uh, actually to counter all these challenges that you you have uh, list down uh, previously? Okay. Well, there are you know as I that as uh, Winston Churchill say the the uh, you know Winston uh, Churchill say that the further backward you can look, the further forward you can see. So I I I start remember back what I did, you know, how my instructor taught me uh, when I was in uh, in in US. One of one of it is uh, uh, this. I still remember the code name for the subject is called theater art showcase theater one 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 so what i i it was an elective so i i enrolled the subject and I, because you know the, the 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 all my friends say this is very good cost you know good uh, subject to i uh, to enroll so well i took i took the subject and uh, you know what is i spot theater what showcase a uh, movie so this instructor, Dr. Emmanuel, he, you know, when he taught us, you know, in a big theater, in big, uh, you know, Billy Kulia, you know, and uh, he, he uh, showed the black and white movie, you know, at the back. And then he was wearing a, a cowboy suit with pistol and with the cowboy hat and everything. And he went to the uh, to the front, and he was involving himself. You know, he was integrating himself inside the film. Even though it, the film, uh, the movie is on the back, but he was acting inside the the, the movie. You know, uh, together, and and we were amazed. You know, we can oh how how I mean he teach he taught us, and then yet he he was wearing this cowboy suit. And then the, you know he was think, he was he was uh, you know teaching us about theater art and showcase, and he was a nominee he was a nominee uh, for the Pulitzer Prize in U.S. So that's how creative he was, you know, uh, do, when he taught me in this subject. Theater. The other one is this subject. It is a psychology subject, you know. So it's it's a uh, dance. Three three seven three one. This is for nonverbal communication. It's in psychology. So what happened was this uh, uh, instructor Sandra. Uh, he is a he's a bad he's a bad dancer, bad So he he taught uh, she taught this nonverbal communication. And she did what she did was uh, she wear this uh, uh, ballet ballet suit. And she was on her toes, you know, every time she was dancing in front of the blackboard. Every time from one end to the other, she was dancing, you know, writing on the board. Uh, so uh, we were amazed, you know, and at the same time, she, she delivered her, her lesson, you know. So uh, we, we were so amazed uh, because uh, we, how she approached this subject, you know. Um, and of course, uh, uh, for mathematics, I have no problem because I admire all my uh, professors. I I still remember all their names, and I you know, and I I'm I, it's, it's my major, so I, I I don't want to talk about them. You know, I want to talk about this, uh, which is not my major. You know, subject that I have taken that which, which was not my major, and then. For the first when the first week of this my online teaching, first week, I made the student understand clearly. You know, there are challenges, and I make sure, you know, I had to tell them the first week, I had to tell them what I'm going to do. I say to them, we'll communicate via WhatsApp regularly. I will we'll make a WhatsApp group. We are in the WhatsApp group actually during that time. I said, we'll communicate via WhatsApp group regularly. This is our Tadian Hayat for me and the student. You know, that's how I'm going to communicate with you. 
And the other one is lack of motivation among students. Of course, how are you going to handle it? Well, I say to them, my class is a journey. So that means you cannot miss my class. You know, I will share my experiences, reading materials, extra, extra with you. So that means uh, you, it's not just per se the topology class. I'm going to share my experience. I'm going to share everything with you, you know, to make you, to make the class interesting. You know, the technical difficulties. Well, technical this, you know, I cannot help myself because I'm so new, uh, I'm so uh, novice or new in this uh, online teaching. So I had to take care of it. So I say to them, I will use Webex, and that's all I know for now. I know a little bit about Zoom and things like that. I'll use Webex, and I will deposit all the material right after every lesson in your e-learning. So that I promise them. So every time, you know, in the after the lesson, every lesson, every meeting, I I will deposit my the the meaning uh, the lessons inside your e-learning for you so that you can assess it. And then time consuming resources. So how I prepare myself, you know, how I share my things. I can be of course they can Google their books, go for both free books and free things and things like that, you know. So that is my you know my part, I had to provide them. So I said to them, every lesson is a journey for you. I said to them, and a, a presentation for me. So that means every lesson, every lesson is a journey for you and a presentation for me, which means that master to do face to face. You know, I just can't, uh, my class is supposed to be at 11 o'clock in the morning. I still, at uh, 10.45, I still at my uh, room at Ibn Sina. I just pick up the file, you know, get to my car and drive to the, to the, to the class, you know, drove to the class. And then I open the, uh, when I uh, get into the class, I open the file in front of me, in, put it in the table, I just start writing on the uh, whiteboard easily, you know without preparation it's everything uh, you know i have in my mind already what i'm going to teach you know but i cannot do that in the when i'm online teaching so that means i need a storyboard every time which means that i had to plan every time i have to then what's next what the next slide i'm going to share with them what is the, the things that i'm going to say to them you know every lesson because just like a uh, 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 I call it, uh, uh, you know, that's why you call it, you, you, you plan the sequence uh, of your presentation. And then set and forget activities. This is a very, this is a very troublesome, you know. So I said to them, I want to make it easy. Easy for you and not easy for me. But I want it to be on Pangepa continuously done, you know. So I say to them, I will, there will be an assignment for every lesson, satu year, and it is due in a week time. The next meeting, you, you have to pass to me, the, you have to deposit it in the evening, and then only one question per assignment. I will give you only one question, tak banyak, only one question, but it will have to be continuously throughout every meeting we have this, you know, so I want them to, you know, to be, you know, always remember or always uh, on their toes for this subject. You know, some of the students, they will study in last minute, like uh, a day before the exam, they will study it, you know, um, and, uh, and they forget what they have learned before. So I don't want that to happen, particularly for this online teaching. Okay, Prof. Uh, uh... Uh, I, I can learn new things today, uh, which is, uh, I think it's, it's quite new also for me. Uh, so setting their expectation. So I, I never thought that kind of, uh, uh, how to say, that kind of uh, situation, uh, the kind of technique to, to apply to our students. So can you elaborate more, Prof, uh, on how to set uh, uh, this kind of expectation? Okay, well, you know, Oh, uh, thank you, uh, uh, Dr. Ahmad, because, uh, you know, this is uh, actually, yeah, when it comes to the empathy, this is just like uh, uh, an agreement between you and the student, you know, uh, there is, so, 
for isolation, you know, why the issue comes? Why the, the, uh, the researchers talk about this isolation thing? Because learning from home can be lonely uh, without classroom setting and the company of their, first, their peers. And it is no surprise that some students can begin to feel a strong sense of isolation that slowly erodes their desire to learn. Of course, they are far away. There's no sense of uh, accountability, uh, you know. So th this uh, this attention will erode from that. So what did, what did I do? Of course, I told you, I, I set up this WhatsApp group share important and interesting article, papers, joke, news, etc. outside classroom, you know, I deposit in the e-learning, you know, and I acknowledge them, I told them, I had deposit this for you, and read it, and deposit video, PowerPoint, written notes, show me, and this is my, that I use, assignment in the learning for every lesson, for every lesson I do that, and then deposit solution to the assignment the day after it was due. And the, inter the one of the, Thing that I really uh, uh, apply is that offer online office odd hours. Because in, in when I was in the US, we have uh, office hours. Uh, this, the lecturer offers us uh, office hours from in the morning, you know, eight to nine, whatever. You can come, you can jump to his uh, room, uh, to his office, and ask uh, him any question, the instructor any question. You can come with your, so, with your problem, things like that. So, you see, I did this when it was face-to-face uh, -face in, in UTM, but it's very hard for the student to come, you know, during the office hours, we, uh, even though we have stated, uh, you know, precisely Thursday from 9 to 10 is office hours. You can come uh, with your student. I will be there to entertain you. So while during, during online teaching, I offer this uh, odd hours office online. Which means, why is all of us? I mean, I do. I, I didn't offer them in during the day. I offer it at night. So every uh, Wednesday, eight thirty p.m. until nine thirty p.m., I make this link, web link. I stay in front of the computer. The student will come in and ask me question. It was the, the they was uh, you know uh, enrolled. Uh, they were just uh, you know enter the room and ask me. Uh, question that I had taught them uh, earlier or before. So that's what I offer them uh, this on all hours office online. And at the same time, if they are no student, then I would just do my work. You know, I just make it open. You know, every time the student comes in, I can I, I can see that they are they turn in for my uh, online odd hours, online office odd hours. The other one is uh, uh, I had to be, you know, I share music, I share favorite singers with them. You know, I share with them uh, uh, during uh, uh, using WhatsApp and things like that. And also when they are having their uh, exam, I, I, you know, I share with them uh, this music and this, uh, with my music, you know. My, and then we talk about how to do this isolation. The next one is motivation to, to increase the motivation among students. And then, of course, the issue is that uh, for lack of motivation, as hard as the distance teaching might be for us, it's likely even harder for our students. Yeah. You know, they have gone from classroom explicitly designed to support learning to bedroom. They are in the bedroom now, some of them. Kitchen tables, you know, um, parking lot uh, to, to get the access, to connection, access, access to uh internet yes connection uh and and where, where this section are plentiful and expert support isn't always on hand because you know kaloka campus they have this uh pusat counseling you know they can drop by at pusat counseling but now they don't have it you know we are the counselor you know we have to do it you know uh, you know so what I did was I shared related articles, papers, jokes, news, etc. during the during and outside meeting room. I do that. You know, I want to motivate them. During online, sometimes I share before the, the class or something in the middle of class, I share uh, papers, things like that, and jokes, you know, news or whatever, I, you know, I can share with them. And of course, offer online office all hours. And...
and be open and share your experiences in music and less than that. I share this because you know, I I'm, I wasn't like Sandra when I took this uh, dance a uh, non-verbal combination. I cannot dance, so you know, like the, she did uh, when I was in undergraduate. So I can share me, my music. Uh, I can share news jokes with them. You know, even though I cannot, you know, cannot wear the cowboy suit and things. I try to share whatever I can to make them uh, feel at home or feel motivated. You know, I talk about this motivation and then technical difficulties. Yeah, because I'm not computer savvy. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, everything's not, I'm not a new, in the new generation. Development in teaching and learning technologies over the past decade have made the prospect of distant learning a less, but less daunting. However, there are still issues such as accessibility for students. Right. I say to you, I, I use Wayback, I use WhatsApp, I use ETM learning, I use, uh, I have a word note. So I sorry Apple iPad. So I use Apple Note, and I just this you know I use this Show Me app, you know, because I say to them you know I have to find an app that I can write you know like the way I I I, I wrote on the whiteboard when I, mean, I teach mathematics. So I have to find this app, you know I have to know about this app. So this app whenever I show I, I write I it's called this for me it's just impromptu app. Which mean that I write whatever I wrote in the uh, in, in this app, you know, you know, the 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 app will make a link, and I can share the link with the the student, you know, I can share it through WhatsApp, I can share it through through Udemy, so that they can go back and see uh, the, the what I have written in this uh, methodical equation, methodical uh, proving, and things like that, you know, so they can have have an access on it easily. So time consuming resources, that's the next challenge that I had to deal. Or when you cannot, when you can no longer just stand in front of your class and teach, you have to rely on resources to, to do the job for you and those take time to create. Of course, you know, as I say, you need a story part. Yeah. And uh, uh, you, you have to construct mind storyboard every lesson. You have to plan, you know, what you're going to, Teach them what I'm going to say and things like that. As I'm planning how what I'm going to deliver this morning, deposit video, PowerPoint, written notes, assignment in Italy and that's just like yourself. You know, I do this. Deposit solution of every assignment in Italy. And the solution I I I find this. I write the solution and I pose it every time in the Italy. And I this is what I usually do. Deposit related articles or papers in evening for every lesson i do that that i you know that's my promise with the student and also my promise to myself i have to do it you know and then of course uh, set and forget everything this you cannot help but you have to take care of it you have to uh, to counter it you know the issue is students aren't the only one who might feel diminished accountability in a distant education setting it can be a struggle for us too. Of course, I'm a novice. I'm I'm just I just know I just learn what I just uh, uh, involved in this online teaching. Assign some work online and simply hoping for the best. So that's what we always do. You know, even in face to face, we hope we give them the students uh, assignment of uh, homework, and we hope that they will do it, and they will return to us the solution with the, you know. Uh, with the fine colors, I mean, they, uh, they did very well. So actually, you know, doing it online is even harder because it's just like a touch and go. Yeah, you touch and go, you get them, and that's it. You turn off the WebEx and you're done. You know, it's not like that. Mm -hmm. So so what I did was uh, set a question, only one question, a week due date for each assignment. I set a question. Only one question. Tak banyak pun. Satu saja. Uh, tapi uh, cukup. Um, uh, demand dia orang punya creativity lah. Uh, deposit the assignment in e-learning for address. That's, uh, download and mark the assignment. I have to do it. Uh, discuss and update the solution of the assignment in e-learning. Remind the student to read deposit articles or papers that have been discussed during the online that are available in the e-learning. 
So I always remind them to read, to read through WhatsApp, you know. And then this is what I promised them: return the mark assignment a day after it was due via WhatsApp personally. So I don't put in the WhatsApp group. I won't, so I, I return to them personally. I could mark it and then straight to the WhatsApp. Uh, pers I WhatsApp them personally. So that's what I did. So I have still had the connection with them. Tadan Hayat is still there. Uh, Tadan Perhubungan Combination is there. You know? And then this is the assignment. Set or assignment during the course. You know, I have like 22 assignments. And these are the student answers. As I said to you, I have only, I give only one question every set. And this is their uh, answer, one of the student answers. So I come, come I, I say good, it's good, it's bad, it's bad. So, and then this is the solution that uh, I share with them, either by WhatsApp or sometimes, I, uh, most of the time I put it in the e-learning. And then assignment. This, this is some of the assignment uh, that I mark and I share with them, you know, in detail. I said to me, how do you get this? And, you know, you have to be, you know, you are, have to be human. You have to be, you know, like a, a mentor, but you have to, you know, you, you communicate with them, not because it's very hardly do you do it verbally. You have to do it by, 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 by writing, you know, you communicate with them. You know, what, who told you this? Like that. And then these are the items uh, that I share in the e-learning with them every week. What's the video lesson? I record, I share with them. The lecture notes, uh, PDF, PowerPoint, extra reading material, is I, 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 I deposit in the e-learning, exercise for that week, and show me, no one tell, show me, that means the return scribble. This is the, the link that they have to uh, have it. And then the next me meeting, the video lesson 11 November, PowerPoint notes, I share with them PDF, exercise, uh, extra link material, I share with them, you know, solution for exercise that I share with them too. You know, this is what uh, I, I share with them. This is an example of my video lesson, you know, uh, I share with them, I discuss their, 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 we'll call it their uh, homework solution during that uh, lesson. Uh, this is my notes in PowerPoint. I properly uh, do it, uh, I mean, I do it in, in, in PowerPoint and and with this, uh, I, I present to them, and these are all the, the things that I, do, you know, I, I explain to them what this means by metric space. I drill them. Every sentence I drill them. So I, I mean, I underline here, I say, what is cluster point? I ask them, you know, I tell, I, I mean, I explain to them, you know, and the one that I explain, you know, I will do use the show me, right? Uh, the, the, uh, pictorially, uh, what does it mean? Mm. And then this is extra reading material I share with them, you know. And of, of course, some that, most of them are related to their to their uh, course topology, you know. I share with them uh, so that they can motivate uh, to, about the subject. And of course, this is my iPad written notes. I share with them, I put in a link, you know, every per room I put it and I share with them. And this is the impromptu show me notes. Uh, we produce links. So when they ask me question or I want to explain in detail, I just use the apps, uh, show me apps. And I wrote it uh, on the apps. And then it's very easy. This app is very easy. I can choose red or white, blue colors and everything is easy for me because like for a novice for me it's easy because I can choose colors, I can choose, uh, you know, and I and the, the apps will immediately uh, produce you a link and then you can share the link with the student. And of course, uh, as I said, you know, I cannot, 
I cannot dance uh, badly uh, in front of the students. You know, I cannot wear the, I cannot act like as a cowboy, cowboy in front of students. So I share with them. Uh, so like, like this, uh, because one, this one private singer, uh, every year I did. So I, I share with the student. Uh, so I, every time, uh, you know, whenever I can share, I share with, with the student. And also, of course, this, um, uh, I shared the music because I sit here, here. Um, during the, the competency exam they are going to have with them. So I post this one, I post this uh, YouTube for, of Josh Groban, one of my favorite songs. It's a motivational song, actually. And I hope uh, they will motivate themselves for this, uh, uh, call it competency exam in, 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 a, in a few, in a few minutes, you know. So I uh, said to them, enjoy uh, this uh, 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 music, this song, and uh, try to increase your uh, focus for this exam. And good luck. And after, right after that, uh, I, I get, uh, I post the the exam, the composite exam for them to, to do it. As well, I post it in the online, uh, in WhatsApp, as well as in e-learning immediately okay so this i also share jokes you know i share jokes with my student uh during that doing you know, what was online so i got this uh, joke from somewhere i forgot and then the, i i was talking to my uh i, I shared this with my phd students group of my phd students i was saying that my my bb my mate was also online every morning, you know, before even I started uh, have the class, my BB, my mate was online. I don't know, with whom. And I said, I shared with uh, with my PhD student. I said, my, my BB can, my my mate can do uh, online teaching soon, you know. And of course, he can attend webinar and he can, uh, she can get the certificate as well, you know. And that was I was saying to my my students, and they said to me, you know, um, you can you can invite your baby to to give an online teaching too. And that was, uh, and then right after that, you know, I post them the next webex or next uh, what we call it lesson, you know, which is the day uh, I mean tomorrow the next day. So that's how I communicate with them. So. Uh, this is uh, the end of the, the last day of my e-learning, right? So uh, I, it was a surprise, you know, the last day, my last day. They, 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 you know, they say nice thing, uh, wishes to me, and I, I'm very flattened um, uh, for that thing. And then, uh, as I said to them, uh, uh, these are some of the uh, things that they said to me. I, I was so happy, I was sad. I was happy and I was crying because uh, I didn't know that the student was appreciate it that much. And then I just, at the end, there's my last, uh, we call it my message to them, I said to them, I'm humble with all your praises and wishes. I just want to, each one of you to succeed in your career and most importantly in your life. And all of you have tremendous potential. You are my, one of my best group of students. But thank you for letting me to be part of your journey. So that's what my last, I would call it my last remark to them. And of course, in the end, whether it shows in your grade or not, right, in your performance, well, these, I analyze every assignment that I given them, every set, 22 set, you know, what is their average, what is their, you know, how the, whether they improve or not uh, with respect to the assignment, you know, I analyze everything. And also this is the competency exam, you know, I, I make, I, I analyze the competency exam, you know, whether they are doing well or not. And of course, their coursework, you know, 
So, and Alhamdulillah, uh, their grief was, I mean, uh, I, I was happy. I'm very, very happy with their grief, you know? And uh, it shows their, their grief, you know? And that's how, that's what my, uh, uh, my experience for teaching this subject. Thank you. So thank you to uh, Prof. Nahi uh, Ahmad for his uh, sharing. Uh, very motivative and also very informative uh, for all of us uh, as a new staff and also uh, for, for the others. Okay, uh, so uh, I will open to the uh, floor for any question if you would like to ask. Uh, may I ask a question, please? Assalamu alaikum. Yes. yes. Assalamu uh, yeah, uh, Prof. Uh, yeah. In your section, it was uh, the it was uh, how many how many students? A lot of or maybe a, a few students? Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's, that's why I want I want to ask you. Yes, the second. Yeah? Mm. How many students it was in your section? Yes, it is fifteen students, and I can do that, right? Yeah. It's, 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 I learned many things here in your teaching. It is it, it, to do uh, that things. It, it is it takes you have to be very hard worker. It is good. Now another thing: the when you are getting uh, assignments to uh, students yes. assignments, yes. and then yes. he will he will receive it uh, exactly the same answer, the same I maybe mean, similar answer. Oh. No, uh, whatever they give me the uh, the solution, right? They will yeah. use it in e learning. I will download it. Yes, I will download. I will mark one by one. I mean, students uh, they, they help it to each other or not the, during that. I mean, because they, they, they yes. copied or not the. No, you see. Uh, that's what uh, you have to understand my philosophy, you know. The exercise, you know, some of them I can share to you, they are different, you know, some of them are different. Some of them I, have, I, can, and I cannot deny, they are some uh, the, the, uh, the same. But when it comes to proving, proving, oh, that's you know, good, yeah. yeah, it depends, you know, their creativity is there. You, you yeah. can see, you know. You cannot, you cannot easily, uh, you, you, they cannot easily copy, you know, to each other. Yes. And, and, and topology is not, it's not, it's not, it's not an easy subject actually. You know, you have to understand the concept well, very well. So that's why I had to drill, to drill them, you know, to make sure they understand the, uh, the concept well. Prof, a lot of thanks. I learned many things. A lot of thanks. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> It's just be, I'm I'm the, I'm a learner too. Okay, thank you to uh, uh, Dr. Mohidin uh, Mominov. Okay, uh, maybe Prof Ali. Yes. Uh, something? Assalamualaikum. Uh, Assalamualaikum. Prof Tahir. Yes. Uh, thank you for your uh, presentations. <laughs> um, you mentioned one thing about uh, assignment. Yes. Um. Uh, the in my, in my case, I um I asked the student to submit the assignments uh, through e-learning, you know, online, mm -hmm. and then uh, I will check the assignments, and then I will return the assignments uh, also using uh, online uh, uh, e-learning. Yes. But but you mentioned that you prefer to return the assignments uh, individually. Yes. Uh, through what through WhatsApp or something? WhatsApp, yes. Yeah, I, I mean, why why you use this approach <laughs> rather than not uh returning the assignments uh through e-learning? Uh, because you know, I I'm, I I don't feel uh comfortable to mark it in the e-learning. Oh, yes. So that's why it's better for me to download it. Yes, yes, I did the same also. Yeah. I also and do then, the same. Yeah. And <laughs> then the, save it in a folder. Yes. yes. And then I return it back to them uh, personally. I don't. Yes. I, I send it to to the group to personally because I can communicate with them. 
if they ask me a question, they say, why, doctor, I got this only two marks. So I can communicate with them. Oh. Yes. Uh, uh, it is also possible to return the assignments, uh, you know, to upload the, the, the mark assignments individually also in e-learning. Yes. Because, but... they, because they submitted the assignments individually through yes. e-learning, it's also possible, you know, uh, after, uh, you know, I... I down I download the assignments, save it in a folder, and then mark them. Then you can also return the assignments uh, individually through through the e-learning. Yeah, we, we create a portal, you know, a, yeah. a, a portal for for um this assignment uh, submissions. Yeah. Yes, but uh, yeah, I, I know that you know, but for me, I'm comfortable to uh, to do it faster because once I mark it, I just drag to the WhatsApp and send it immediately. Because I, I promise to them uh, the day after it's due, I will I will send to you the mark uh, uh, assignment immediately. Mm -hmm. So uh, how many students you said you have for, for I have fifteen one and then, uh, fifteen. And I have two, I have two, two PSN students. The PSN student is also the same thing. I have, I'm, I have a meeting with them every Wednesday night, eight thirty to nine thirty for my PSN student. So okay, thank you, bro. All right. Okay, and thank you to Prof Ali. Uh, so, any other question? Or maybe for a question from me. Uh, so, Prof, uh, uh, I, I quite interesting with uh, uh, extra uh, reading material that you give to the uh, student. Yeah. Uh, uh, other than your your paper, I think it, what you show to us is from your paper, right? Some of them. Uh, some of them. So, uh, for for the others, uh, can you share? Uh, where do do you get the extra reading uh, material? Yes. Uh, for example, if uh. Most of them is the one that I, because whenever I uh, we call it um, uh, most of the papers you know that I I, I read I read I, I I you know I save it I keep it I keep it myself. So when for example in topology I have papers that is related to topology application of topology. So. I share with them inside the class, inside during the online teaching, and I discuss. For example, when it comes to like the definition of topological space, you know, and I say, see, this author is using this uh, definition for his work, you know, so they can see, it, you know, that for example, this one of this paper. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Uh, hmm. Can you see? No? Not yet. Yeah, for example, this paper no, here. No. Yeah. This paper is not mine, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's from other researchers. So you can see that, you know, at this bottom here, uh, the researcher use the uh, topology. So I explain to them. And then we discuss this paper. Know, how mm -hmm. he, he apply this topological concept in the in the and its digital work in uh, image processing. Uh, of course, this is for me, my work. It doesn't matter. But this is uh, the you know um, the researcher's work uh, in topology. So I I keep you know share with them, and also some uh, for example uh, news or some like. Uh, uh, see, I have a lot of access in the CNN news about, you know, you know, technology things, technology, new technology and things like, like, for example, the rover for Mars. I share with them, you know, because I, I want to, you know, I want to share the technology with them to know the information. That's, that's why I did. Until yesterday, I shared with them. <laughs> okay, thank you, Prof. Right. So, uh, any other question? 
Prof, uh, uh, yes. please, again, yeah. yes, you, you mentioned about the offer online hours, right? It is yes. extra. Yeah. What about that? The, the, the students asked many questions. It was interesting. This yeah, is you know, <laughs> this is actually the idea, you know, I, I attend a webinar in UF actually. Uh, it's one, uh, for, I forgot, uh, Springer, uh, one of the, uh, uh, we call it, uh, uh, professor, I forgot, he wrote in the like, linear algebra book, and he said to the, to the, during the webinar, he said that um, he found that office hours that he oh. offered during online, there are many students came for his for his office hours, then office hours when they were before uh, lockdown, face to face. Oh. You see, you see why? Because the student, you know, you know, they don't have, you know, they have, they have to come to to walk from their uh, dorm to the, to the office to your office. But now they just drop by, they just click the link, and then they just show up and ask you question. You know, that's why I, I use, uh, I do. And uh, in, during the study week, I did this, uh, I offer online office hours every night. Wow. Every night. Yeah, because, see, you just make the way, the way back, right? The back thing, from 8.30 yeah. to 9.30, you just stay there. At the same time, you're working with your, with your staff. I mean, you 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 send email, you, you talk, you chat with your 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 son and things like that you know yeah and if they show up in the way that in the way then then i entertain them very easy so, oh, for, for example if you have two subjects and then just you 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 provide it for all subjects or what? yes okay office hours the concept of office hours anybody can come wow you know, so that means anybody can come with the question. I mean, I mean, anybody need your students, lah, whatever subject they, they take. Lah. And so that's what I did. You know, anybody can come and ask you and you have to explain during that time. Office yeah, hours. I, yeah, I think that one was interesting, I think, to my mind. Yeah, Thank you. You, can, yeah you the other uh, problem with it, you cannot do it during the day. Yeah. Because they have, they are so busy with these uh, online courses, you know, the other subject. So you offer them all hours. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you to Dr. Uh, Dr. Uh, no. uh, okay, any other questions? So maybe one more from 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 me, Prof. Can I? Yeah, yeah, you can. <laughs> okay. So, uh, how you actually manage uh, your time with your online teaching and also with your your research? Oh yeah. I think yeah. you're also quite active with your research and also I think your online teaching is taking so much time. I I can can see. So how you actually manage during this pandemic? Oh yeah, Doctor Ahmad. I'm a workaholic. I'm a workaholic. Yeah. You know, that's why I, I'm. I I have to say, and uh, um, the thing is, uh, yeah, I I can. Uh, my my research students, uh, they have their own group, WhatsApp group. You know, and my uh, subject. Uh, SSMP uh, topology also have a group, so I manage, you know, uh, that's how I manage, you know, I mean, uh, I communicate them through WhatsApp and even my PhD students, you know, also, they just, they just uh, WhatsApp me uh, if they want to meet me or they can come to my home, you know, uh, or, or they, they, they just WhatsApp me, they say, Pro, I want to talk to you about my I uh, got my research and things like that. So I, I just make a Webex link and, 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 and they communicate with me. And about time, okay, let me tell you about 
how I, I, you know, I'm just hooked on this, you know. Um, yeah, research is part of me. I, you know, every time uh, even I eat, kahang, I talk about, uh, I, I think about the research of my student. You know, they can, they cannot be. Uh, I cannot, you cannot take away from that, from me. Even my wife also cannot take that from me. You know, I always think uh, the next theorem, uh, how to prove it and things like that, you know. But this, uh, actually, I love this online teaching. You know why? Because I learn new things. I learn to innovate. I, it change, it challenge me. I, before this, I don't even know about WebEx. I don't even know about Show me. I didn't even know how to use iPad notes. I don't know even know how to uh, cyber goggy, how to talk goggy, whatever. I don't know. You know, I know Dr. Noma is just like a piece of cake for her, but I don't know. I have to learn. You know, I have to discover myself. You know, or bridge data and things like that. I, I don't know it. You know, uh, that's it, this part. Uh, teaching only thing is just my research. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, thank you for, 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 your, for your answer and also entertaining my question. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so, uh, do you have any other question from the floor, from the uh, other lecturer? Okay. Assalamualaikum, uh, the chair. Yes. All right. Um, thank you very much. I learned from my heart. Okay, uh, for Tahi. And then uh, I know now we are in uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Now we go to the uh, new norm COVID-19. Uh, COVID so what is your future for online teaching and learning? And what is your future handling research uh, through virtual and online environment. Okay, thank you. Well, um, thank you, Doctor uh, uh, Mr. Uh, well, uh, Doctor Noma, who is my we call it uh, my uh, uh, my reference person uh, on online teaching. She knows more than me, you know. The future, well, as I said to you, I'm only left with about two months and two years and three months, two years and two months for my retirement. Okay, uh, that is, but I have still have time in UTM, and then about uh, research, you know, in the uh, research in uh, regarding online research right uh, i did uh, when i when i was covid 19 right i formed immediately the group my group facs auto concept facs group so what i we did you know i collect all i i i mean i invite all my students to be in this group and then we discuss Every, I mean, almost, you know, once a week or twice a week, how to write the article, how to you know, publish article, to write to ETM Hub, ETM, uh, to preprint and things like that. Until so, we discuss together uh, through through online. So, I, I, I mean, I said, okay. Munira, you do, you collect data, you draw all the diagram, you know, and um, uh, as Amirul, you know, I want this picture. Can you do it? You know, and then the one uh, uh, and uh, Nupahana, you do this simulation. Azmirul, you check this, and uh, Doctor Sudirama, check the statistic. This is how. What we do on online is even easier because ah, kalau nak tunggu kalau kat face to face ah, semua orang nak nak himpun semua lagi susah kan? Dia nak class sana, class meeting sana, class sana, class sana tak boleh. Sebab online easy, 
every can come in and, and, and discuss with it, uh, what we have to do. So that is um, uh, what we up on. Tentang another thing, yes, Dr. Noma said to me, uh, talk about what uh, CHEG, C-H-E-G-G, -G, kan? I was talking with Dr. Ong just now. Yes, you know, for me, my philosophy, you know, uh, I think I have no problem with the, my student with this CHEG thing. Because, you know, I have to be honest with them I to be honest with them, honesty with them, and they had to be honest with me, you know. So this is the character that we want, or this attribute that this uh, this character that we want from them, you know. They can learn uh, topology, they can learn everything, uh, but this character is different, you know. You have to you have to cultivate, you know, through them. To be honest, to be integrity, you know, you cannot be, you know, uh, you have to, you have to do it, and and the one thing you have, to, you can do is you have to be close to them, uh, and and be open with them, and that's how I I, I do I, I do, and and what was your question again, Dr. Noma? Uh, prof, research and teaching only. Research and teaching? Only. Enough. Oh. Enough. Already answered. Thank oh, you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, this come from my heart. Uh, you know, I can, I don't know, uh, boss, I don't know. You know, what I know, I just share what I know. Okay, uh, thank you to uh, Dr. Norma Elias for his, uh, her question and also for Prof. Tahir for uh, the answers. Okay, uh, so maybe we can, if you don't have any more question, we can have a, a photo session. Or do, do we have any other question for the, for the others? Oh, no. No, eh? So, uh, uh, Prof. Can we have a photo session now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe the others can open your camera so that I can take the picture. That the normal, yes. Saya nak ambil ke, you nak ambil? Tak apa, boleh ambil. You pun boleh ambil. Post kan? Boleh, eh? Boleh ambil, eh? Okay, ada lagi tidak? Sejak ya. Okay. Uh, ada lagi nak buka kamera? So, sedang. Sekejap. Uh, Dr. Norma Hilih silang. Tak nampak gambar. Dr. Norma. Ah, okay, nampak lah. Is it same again? Okay, one, two, three. Okay, another one. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, freestyle. Freestyle, yeah. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Okay, so thank you to all the participants. And thank you, thank you, Dr. Ahmad. Okay, thank you also to Prof. Uh, Tahir and also to our organizer. And thank you. Thank you.
Okay, so uh, uh, we end our uh, talk today with the Tazbih Kifara dan Kifara dan Turut al Okay, so thank you again. So we end this meeting.